As great as many Windows-based PC handhelds are, there are many factors for why people migrate back to the Steam Deck. Battery life for sure, but the form factor of its UI just makes you feel like you're using a console. No navigating around Windows to get things rolling. Granted, I do like the Lenovo Legion Go's Legion UI that does kind of feel console-like once you get past installing games, but the Steam Deck is just so fluid and good. Thankfully, you can now do the same thing on Windows-based handhelds like the ROG Ally and Legion Go. A version of the Steam Deck's operating system is free to download and install, and I've tested around with it for quite a while. Let us dive right in. Here's my review and thoughts on the Bazite operating system for the Lenovo Legion Go. The first order of business is the installation. You're gonna need some extra hardware for this. You'll need a USB flash drive for the operating system itself, along with a USB-C to USB adapter and a USB keyboard for the actual install. You can't use the touchscreen or virtual keyboards for the first installation steps, so you will need a hardwired USB keyboard to do it. It's a fairly involved install process as well, so I suggest you follow a guide like the one I'm showing you right now from Cyber Dopamine. I'd also suggest you dual boot Windows and Bazite instead of completely demolishing Windows in favor of the Steam OS. We'll get more into that later. And one thing that's not mentioned in that video I referred you to, if you don't want to take away too much space for Bazite when making partitions, you can use a micro SD card for storage. You can even freely swap an SD between a Bazite Legion Go and a Steam Deck, and both will automatically recognize games you have installed. So you don't need to format or reinstall anything when swapping between the two handhelds. Once you got it installed, you can boot right into the Steam operating system when you turn it on, and... Oddly enough, in my case, my Legion Go defaults to the Bazite operating system. I have to actually go into the BIOS boot menu by holding down the power and volume up buttons to go into Windows. Now once it boots, it's basically an exact copy of the Steam Deck's OS. You go right into the game selection, where you can hit the Legion right and left buttons to access the Steam Deck's side menus, and it's got all of those little convenient options the Steam Deck has access to. The performance overlays a much more reliable FPS counter than the Legion Go's default one and the convenience of it functioning like a handheld console, letting you put the system to sleep at any time with the power button and immediately resuming games instead of the whole Windows login nonsense. The only real difference between the Steam Deck and Bazite on the Legion Go is the TDP slider. On the Steam Deck, you can only take it up to 15, while the Legion Go can go up to 30. The only real addition here is the Bazite overlay, which can be opened by holding the right Legion button or hitting one of the buttons on the back of the Legion Go's controllers. This lets you modify a few things. There are TDP presets, some fan and controller options for extra buttons and motion controls, how the touchpad on the right controller can work, but most importantly to me are the display options. You have a feature to completely disable the Legion Go's touchscreen until you restart the device. This was a big game changer for me. It's a small feature, but one of my biggest complaints about the Legion Go was my right thumb accidentally grazing the touchscreen while playing shooters, at which point the game would recognize the grazing as a mouse click and completely change the camera. With Bazite, you can disable it so that doesn't happen. But that's it for new features. Let's talk about the really important stuff, playing games, performance, and battery life. Many people think that SteamOS would use less power than Windows, getting you better performance and battery time, but it really doesn't. I've been told the frame pacing of games is a little smoother in Bazite, but performance is pretty much identical between the two. The only thing you need to watch for is resolution. By default, many games will set up as close to the Legion Go's native resolution as it can. For better performance, you can bring that down to around 1280 by 720, which in Horizon's case brings the Stone Crest area's frame rate from the 30s to a 45 to 60 range. Though on the flip side, some games don't let you lower it without drawbacks. Tomb Raider Legend, for example, will intensely crop the screen if you set it on 720, pretty much needing you to expand it to a higher resolution to still be full screen. But it is a more stable operating system. There are games that the Legion Go can easily crash or shut down from playing on Windows. So let's dive into some game examples of pros and cons to using Bazite versus Windows. The first one I notice is Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Strangely enough, when I play this game on Windows on my Legion Go, the moment extra deck summons happen, the frame rate tanks into the teens and the entire system will crash easily, completely rebooting the entire hardware from the card game sim using up so much power for some reason. But if you boot the game up on Bazite, it's perfect. You never see drops under 60 FPS save for when the loading stutters happen, and I've done more than two dozen duels on the Legion Go through Bazite and have not had a single crash. 
Another example is Alice Madness Returns. On Windows, I can't get this game past the title screen without crashing unless I go and tweak a bunch of files. But on Bazite, it loads into the game without an issue and plays fine. You still need to do normal things with the PC version, like modding files to get it to run at 60 FPS versus 30 because of how the PC version is hardwired, but it's a stress-free 30 FPS game right out of the box. Obviously, this is going to be a case-by-case -case basis on specific games working better or not. This is a Linux-based operating system after all, so that means a lot of games will not work on it or will not work well. Pretty much anything that uses easy anti-cheat will not be able to go online with its multiplayer. But let's dive into some examples. Atomic Heart on Steam will work flawlessly on both Bazite and Windows up near 60 FPS, but Bazite does not allow you to tweak any graphical settings. Though if you boot the same save on Windows, you can modify graphical settings and change the visuals. Call of Duty Warzone can't be launched at all on Bazite. You can't even get into the Call of Duty launcher to try to download Black Ops 6 without using Windows. Then we get to Dragon Ball Fighters, a game that was a pain to try to get launching at all on the Steam Deck, and none of the default Proton layers in Bazite will allow you to launch it on the Legion Go. Plus, even if you do get some more Proton layers and get it to launch, since this is Linux, you won't be able to go online with it. It'll turn Dragon Ball Fighters into a single player game. And Silent Hill 2's remake has the same upscaling restrictions the Steam Deck has, not giving you access to FSR 3 unless you go into desktop mode to modify files. And finally, if you want to use the Xbox Game Pass xCloud service to play games like Fortnite and other easy anti-cheat games that Linux can't really play, you will need to do some extra steps that I didn't have to do on the Steam Deck, as the controllers didn't recognize when I made the page available in Steam. I had to go into the console application in desktop mode and put in a command to make it recognize the built-in controllers. Granted, it does work fine after that, but it's an extra step I didn't have to do before. These examples are why I suggest you dual boot Windows as well as Bazite instead of just replacing Windows. While it's true that Bazite can function on the Legion Go on its own, and you can even get the Legion Go BIOS updates from within Bazite, you're gonna need Windows for specific games. And finally is battery life. This, unfortunately, is not going to be any better with Bazite. It'll be the same as it is on Windows. The main difference here is that you have easy access to the Steam Deck TDP slider at any time. So you can easily move that around to accommodate for whatever game you're playing, effectively getting better battery life if you're playing a less intense game that doesn't need all 30 of that TDP. So let's bring all this together. I think Bazite is a great option to turn the Legion Go into basically a giant Steam Deck that can outperform it thanks to the Legion Go's extra power and specs. Now on the downside, you're not going to see any improvements to battery life or performance, but you do get a ton of convenience from the console atmosphere, much easier access to moving around the TDP, turning off the intrusive touchscreen until your next reboot, and stabilizing a lot of specific games that don't work well on Windows. If I were to give it a score, it'd probably be an easy 9 out of 10. It's a great operating system. Just make sure to dual boot and not completely get rid of Windows for specific games that you may want to play. And that's all I've got for you today. I'll be back soon with more handheld PC performance and reviews. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. Thank you for watching and have a great day.